Hello students, welcome back to my channel Light Up Knowledge and very warm welcome to today's video. I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, we will cover the part second of exclamatory sentences where we will discuss the different patterns of exclamatory sentences. I have already made a video that is part 1 in which I have explained the meaning with different examples. So, you can go watch that out and all these videos will be lined up in the playlist of sentences in English language. Now without any further ado, let us get started. Patterns of exclamatory sentences. So, here this video will be about the different uh, grammatical structure uh, from which we can make exclamatory sentences. So, the first pattern is what plus adjective plus noun plus other words. Okay. So, first there should be what then uh, having an adjective is optional then noun and some other complementary word should be there. For example, what a witty answer she gave. So, witty is an adjective here right and answer is a noun right and she gave other words. Next example is what a fall it was, what a fall it was. So, it does not have an adjective right. So, ad having an adjective is optional. So, this was the first pattern. The second pattern is you will have how plus either adjective or an adverb then other word as simple as that. And the examples are how you mean her response was, how you mean her response was. So, here you mean is an adjective right, but the next example is how earnestly she pleaded. So, how did she plead earnestly? So, earnestly is an adverb over here. The third pattern is O that plus clause. Okay. So, you will put O that and a clause and an exclamatory sentence is thus formed. O, o that I were a bird. It is not off. Okay. It is O. O that I were a bird. So, you were wishing that you know uh, that you are wishing in the present that uh, you were a bird. The next, the fourth one is alas plus clause. This basically happens when you are sad about something, when you are feeling grave about something. Alas is used when you are sad, it is an interjection. Alas, she died so young. So, you are unhappy that she was young and she died. The next example is would that plus clause. Okay. So, would that happen means you are imagining that to happen, but that is not the reality. Would that I had never left India. So, the person is regretting and has already left India. So, is regretting and saying. So, therefore, would that plus clause is used when you wish something to happen, but uh, that actually is not the case, something else has happened. The sixth pattern of an exclamatory sentence is if only plus clause, and the sentence is if only I had a strong financial support. Actually, the person wanted financially support, but uh, is not having one. So, therefore, is uh, saying out of, uh, you know, regret of not uh, wanting something to have, right. The next uh, pattern is pattern number 7. You will add may plus other words as easy as that and it is mainly used for wishing. May you be blessed with success. May you live long. So, it is basically a blessing or you can say uh, a wish. So, therefore, may is used when you wish someone right like may God bless you as simple as that. The eighth pattern is there should be a word plus and and a word right. So, let us have a look at the example a soldier and afraid of fighting right. So, they is a contrary statement that a soldier is never afraid of fighting. So, the meaning is uh, that a soldier is never afraid of fighting. It is impossible that uh, it is uh, he is a soldier and he is afraid of fighting. So, these are contrary facts. The next example is uh, short exclamations like marvelous, superb, fine, right. So, yes guys that was all for today's video where we discussed different patterns of exclamatory sentences. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to press that bell icon so that you can get regular updates of the videos that I upload. Until we meet next time, keep learning and keep growing.